Hello. Welcome to our channel. Let me do it. So we got today. We got a composite board valve. We're going to show you in a second. It's leaky. Whenever they installed it, you put silicone and all the tongue and groove tapped it together. Uh, somewhere, somehow, it leaks. So we're going to seal this balcony up with Armor Seal HS B65 B220 Polyurethane Floor Enamel. One to one it mixes from what I see on the specs. So we've got, we've already poured our one cup of hardener. Now we're going to add our one cup part A. And just for cleanup or whatever, we have a little xylene sitting on the side. So we're stirring the part A. It looks a little more even now. It was kind of looking funny. And then we remembered that we're supposed to be recording. So I to show you that. Now it was good and clear. Yep, yep. wiped right off your finger so easy and it also it evaporates a lot so you don't want to put like a lot on your rag you just want to kind of get a little something in case you uh, you know you want to clean up a little mess all right so we got that about one to one and we're going to dump that in there the two parts are now together that's another thing the rag comes in handy just because if you don't wipe the stuff off it's gonna get everywhere it's just gonna keep going get on your hand and just touch the truck you touch the door of the truck and then you know whatever it just keeps going it just keeps going so then we can get our stir stick all right actually yeah. get our stir stick down there straight that out real good Scrape that out real good. <clears throat> so, um, stir the two parts together. Show them what it looks like, Omar. So hopefully this covers quite a few square foot that we have up there. We're just gonna push it around with a squeegee. And then, you know, see what it's looking like. It don't have to be real thick though. We just kinda wanna get it, you know, just, so we might, we may, if we were going over brick or something like that, we'd probably want to pour it on and squeegee it around. But, um, since we're just trying to, oh, what am I doing? Since we're, um, shit, xylene, xylene. Here comes a big can of xylene. But since we're doing, um, just trying to seal it up, we don't really need it to, like, be a big, thick shell. 
all over the place. We just want to get coverage. So I think everything's stirred up good here. I have a little squeezy. You know, just gonna try to pull it tight, maybe. I also have my <clears throat> thin um, three eighths nap. And whenever you're rolling epoxy, um, you have to use woven. Make sure it says woven on the package. High epoxy is hotter than, you know, epoxy is hotter, hotter than, um, than just like uh, oil based or something, you know. So it, it'll kind of start melting your, it'll also melt like little plastic cups like solo cups um yeah you gotta use something a little bit thicker when you mess with the foxes so it'll melt if you don't have the right nap it's gonna melt it that looks pretty good on that wood though don't it yeah we might put that on the top up there also you know for a natural that's that marine coating all right, let's see what we can do up there. So, Omar pressure wash the surfaces. Pr pressure wash the surface uh, two days ago. We want it to be really, really dry when we put the epoxy on, of course. And, um, you know, so since we have this big oak tree here, you know, we have quite a few little things getting in the cracks. We're going to fire up that blower. Should have did that before. Um, I mixed this up, but I have a little time to work with this, I think. What is that? Hold on. So, don't feel too hot yet. Sanded this. This might have to go a little bit deeper to get that black stuff out of it. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Right, be What? It ain't D walk. Yeah. You know. I'm going to pull it around with my squeegee first. Woo-hoo! Gonna get it. That, that might be enough to do the whole damn side right here. It might have made too much. It's definitely filling in those cracks, isn't it, Omar? Yeah. Shoot. That's it. it is sealing it up, no doubt. It is putting the seal on it. Oh man, that's a lot. Dang. Shouldn't have made that much. Just like a little bit might go a long way. Dang. Should have known.
Okay. Kind of close, I guess, to the amount we needed. I stepped in it somewhere. somewhere. Oh. All right, so we don't want to get this. We want to definitely be able to get that finish the same with that. So you don't want to work yourself to where you can't reach what you're working. This isn't, this isn't gonna, you know, all this is really doing is gonna give it the texture to make it the same, you know? Um, so, so we wanna use this for sure to kinda get it in those cracks and stuff. And then, you know, give it the, the texture you want with the roller nap. So, see, we're pushing, 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 but it ain't filling in the cracks. See? So, we need more stuff. How about the cracks that I wasn't filling in over there? That's enough for me to start pushing around. Right here at the end, I definitely don't want to put too much down. easier to pull it a little more than it is to try to scoop it up off the floor. So you're filling in those cracks and filling it in there real good. Just pushing them in with the squeegee. See it kind of stops going in. That just went quick, didn't it? Huh. Yeah, that went pretty fast. That's just dumping all, I guess. Not that much left. I'm trying to make my way off of this um, balcony. Just kind of get it all up in them cracks. Mm -hmm. There we go. That'll be enough to finish it, I think. I'm just gonna push that around for a minute. Push it up in them cracks real good. Let's push it around, make sure it gets into everything. Get it up in there. One more picture tomorrow of it 
Pull up this tomorrow, and everything is dry. We'll show you the uh, final. We'll be able to post up the video. Show what it looks like on there. So, um, I didn't read the spec sheet right, and um, being that there was, I read that there was on the kit, there was one gallon, and there's one gallon, so I assumed that that meant there was a one-to-one -one mix. I assumed wrong. It's not drying. It's just like it was last night. I did supposed to be two part A's to one part B. I did one and one. To me, I don't understand. I think you got too much hardener. Shouldn't it just harden faster? Is enough? challenge getting some of these leaves off without stepping in that stuff don't know if that's gonna be possible all right so we let this sit about 30 minutes all right so then I got the leaves up on a lot of the uh, You know, everything that I could reach here on the ladder. So, we're gonna give the roller a good dip. Okay. And then, we're gonna spread it out. Yep, that's about it. I'm gonna spread it out. Try to get a good coat of this over uh, crappy roller rack. It ain't holding it on. It's just real sticky. Can't believe it's crap. So anyway, now this is on a video. This is gonna be a video. God. What to do, if you fix one to one and it ain't dry. I've also done something like this on my boat before. And I just had to put epoxy over it again. I put the wrong hardener in. It was a hardener for a nut. Same product, just a different number. It didn't harden. So I had to go with that. Something else. I mean, you know, the same stuff with the right hardener, but it ended up working out. So hopefully this does too. I might have to get me a brother, another nap. Just slinging stuff, slinging it, it's just, you know.
So we got a little trash on it. And on the top, it looks like that's just like a lot of trash in there. A lot of trash done fell in that. But over here it looks great. Right under that tree, you don't. 